Okay, when I think about what it means to be a woman of influence, several characteristics come to mind. Number one, they know how to leverage themselves well across the organization. That is, they're clear in terms of how they communicate their vision and purpose and are able to engage people in that way. In times of COVID, this characteristic is very, very critical. That is, communicating where you're going, getting people to engage with your vision and have, you, have them follow you up the hill. Um, we're certainly seeing also a uh, key characteristic is the ability to be optimistic uh, and keep people calm in these turmoil, these times of turmoil. That's extremely, uh, extremely useful. And also finally being persistent, uh, getting that message out, communicating on a regular basis, making sure people are listening. And when I think about men, men championing women, um, our organization has been holding women's events for many, many years. We're pleased to see more and more men authentically participating. But what it takes to be a champion is for men to step up, uh, to listen, um, listen first, talk second, be aware, self-aware of their own biases, and be prepared to break down barriers within the organization when they see it. We're seeing organizations that are doing a good job of championing the champions. That is, um, recognizing them, giving them visibility, having them get in front of town halls and talk about success stories of how they've helped women through the organization. That's what it takes, that kind of visibility and those kind of metrics to make this happen.